welcome to another episode of NYSE Half Hour. I am your host, Marian Delipe is my name. The skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development SAID program is aimed at young people who are core members undergoing the compulsory one-year national service to the fatherland. The SAID program was introduced in 2012 and started with 12 different categories of skills offered in the program, with more now introduced. The SAID is indeed helping in empowering and preparing the youth of the country for a productive future. After the break, we'll be talking to an escort member who took advantage of the side program while in camp. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. NYSC tidbits. NYSC task officers to track key performance indicators for improved performance. NYSC DG visits hospitalized core members. Federal government thumbs up NYSC on ICT for mobilization process. The National Youth Service Corps has restated its commitment to developing new strategies to evaluate, track, and analyze its data objectively for informed decisions. To achieve this, the scheme tasks its key performance indicators schedule officers to work towards turning metrics into meaning by applying relevant ICT tools. NYSA Director General Brigadier General Y.D. Ahmed gave the charge during the 2024 Key Performance Indicators Schedule Officers Workshop with the theme Turning Metrics into to meaning optimizing outcomes of key performance indicators with insights held in Nasser State. Represented by the Director, Community Development Service and Special Project Haja Zainab Isa, the Director General stated that the workshop will equip the officers with the requisite knowledge and skills in program monitoring, evaluation, and documentation of the scheme's performances. The Director General of National Youth Service Corps, Brigadier General Y.D. Ahmed, has paid a sympathy visit to the core members who were involved in a fatal road accident on their way to the orientation camps at the commencement of the 2024 Batch A Stream 2 orientation course. Core members Oladele Abidimi and Olaiwola Hana won transit in the same vehicle to the orientation camps in Jigawa and Castina State when the accident occurred along Zaria and Route Jigawa Road. While commiserating with the injured core members who were on admission at the 44 Nigerian Army Reference Hospital in Kaduna. Brigadier General Y.D. Ahmed commended their patriotic zeal for accepting their deployment for national service. He said his administration would leave no stone unturned in ensuring that core members enjoy enhanced welfare and improve security at all times. He equally prayed for the injured core members' quick recovery. General Ahmed also lauded the management of the hospital for effective medical assistance being rendered to the core members since they were admitted. The federal government has commended the management of National Youth Service Corps for adopting information technology IT solutions in data collation, processing for mobilization and deployment purposes. It said there is a need to adopt more innovative strategies to enhance the best practice for graduate mobilization for national service. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Mr. Yesom Wike, stated this while declaring open the maiden meeting of NYC management with heads of core producing institutions, CPIs in Nigeria, held in Abuja. I commend the decision of the NYSE to periodically bring critical stakeholders together for brainstorming on the best strategies for greater success, which align perfectly with the contemporary global best practices for achieving desired results. The minister, who was represented by the Mandate Secretary, Women Affairs Secretariat, FCTA, Honorable Dr. Adebayo Benjamin Lanyi, promised that the FCT administration will continue to accord priority to the security and welfare core members. The Minister for Youth Development, Dr. Jamila Biu Ibrahim, said the federal government would continue to embark on a comprehensive reform of the National Youth Service Corps that would meet future demand. As part of Ni the Nigerian Youth Investment Fund program, for 2024. I am also pleased to announce that at least 5,000 core members will have their entrepreneurial ventures funded with up to 10 million naira passing out. 
In his welcome address, the NYC Director General Brigadier General Y.D. Ahmed said the meeting is in line with the provision of NYC Act, which requires that the scheme should maintain regular contact with core producing institutions. He added that NYC would continue to ensure seamless mobilization of prospective core members. The decision to initiate this direct interface with vice chancellors, rectors, and provosts came as a result of our desire to elicit more decisive actions regarding the roles of their institutions in the mobilization process. The Director General used the reform to appeal to core producing institutions, parents, and the general public to use all available venues to complement NYC efforts in sensitizing young graduates on call up for national service to avoid traveling at night when reporting to their state of deployment. Welcome back. In case you just tuned in, this is NYSE Half Hour with Marian Dilipay. Before we speak to one of the beneficiaries of the SAID program, let's take a quick trip to Castine Estate, where we'll be talking to the town head of Dandaguru community, Alahaji Montaka Mogaji Dandaguru. It tells us about the impact of core members in his community, especially in the health sector, and further talks about the importance of the skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development SAID program of the NYSE. Let's talk to him. My name is Alaji Muntaka Mogaji Dandaguru, the community head, or rather the town head of Dandaguru community here in Katsina State. Alahaji Mogaji commends core members for their laudable contribution to the community. They provide laudable projects in this our community. If I can recall, they deliver medicines, bed sheets, mattress. A lot of things to the our clinic, even here in Dandoguru. And uh, there is one copper who built the clinic along this Erhaka village in that health sector. And they are conducting, sometimes they used to conduct this environmental sanitation. Even here in my community, last time they came here, they have conducted the environmental sanitation here. So really I'm the eyewitness because I'm the one who kick up the program. So they have cleaned the environment, they have gone around, they have spray everything and the interactive with the community showing them the importance of putting the environment clean. So really in that sector, uh, a part of the water supply, there is uh, many coppers who build the boreholes. Uh, some of them, they repair some, even here in my community. And uh, around this uh, one Garua village, I saw one member, is it Mariam, she came here, she tried and uh, built for that particular community because of the hardship of how to get uh, drinking or other sanitized water. He talks about the contribution of core members to the educational sector of the state. In this community, you know, we get the uh, Dantogoro uh, Senior and Junior Secondary School. In Batagarawa, I'm the SBMC chairman over the science secondary school over there. So really, I saw a lot of uh, co-members trying to carry out their responsibility as posted for that. So I saw them uh, always with the, with the school community conducting their lawful duty. So really, we appreciate the way we see them. Even here at Dandoguru, they have all of them organized quiz and uh, classroom teaching. Uh, there is a lot within the educational sector. The town head emphasizes on the great security measures put in place to make core members safe and welcomed to the community. Within Kasana Metropolitan and uh, particularly here in Andaguru, we don't have any security threat. We are living in a peaceful manner because most of this uh, is happening around that Zampara border, was the Kaduna said, around Bindungwari border and Kaduna said. But here, most of the core members are safe here. 
And the most of them, they are dealing with the community. They are love. You know, the primary function is to come and see, like somebody posted from Calabar to Kasinda State. So he want to see what is happening. We, we are all Nigerians. We need to be united. So really, that purpose, once they come to us, we usually used to encourage them. Eh? There is a community interaction between the corpus and the, and, and the come. They are doing their all possible best with the Iban neighboring community, with traditional rulers. They are engaging everybody, even the government himself. They are engaging him. So the court members, I think, always they think they feel they are at their own home all the time. I don't think there is any problem. He appeals the government to continue to invest in the NYC scheme for government to continue to support what the NYC scheme is doing with its core members. The government to, to, to widen it, to put more assistance, to put more financial support, to encourage the, the directorate with a lot of uh, programs. Because at this time around, we need this program, this uh, NYC program, because with the country need to be united. You see, there is a, if you look at somebody from Patakot or Kalawa, when he come to Kasana here, it's, it's just like he's in, a, in another country. You assume that. When you go to Lagos, uh, or rather Patakot or Abekuta, you may see different. And when somebody come from there, he may see different. But this with this program in NYC, I think for me, I always say I support the NYC program because the target to, to, to create the NYC program is working very well. They organize this carnival. In this carnival, you may see a Hausa man come, a Yoruba man come, an Igbo man come, a BB or TB, everybody from Nigeria. So for there, uh, one has to learn this uh, culture of this person. This one has to learn. Even that one I used to attend as a royal father of the program. So for that, I enjoy that program. Seriously. Alhaji Mogaji encourages the youth, especially core members, to take side seriously. They should learn the skills so they can be creative and self-reliant and develop the country. If you look at the population now, we are. That is all the, always the colors, those African people, they are just them. If you are creating something, you cannot develop without creating uh, any, anything in your society. You are just sitting down. You get me? Even you are saying, go to farm, go to farm. You don't put modern implement of the farming. You cannot develop. If you go to China, you see this church light from China. See this uh, ring from China. See this shoe from China. See everything. Even your camera may be from China. This, uh, with this program, I think most of our you teaming youth population. Because the, the youth, you know, they are more teaming population in this nation. Really. If you consider with the old age eh? and the young generation. So really, I think with this program, People may get something self-employed self and they may employ other people under them. So from here we get development. But to, for you to say, all the government may give everybody work. When he punish you are NYC, you are going to receive your appointment letter. I don't think somebody is receiving himself. Because we are too many. To me, two issues. One, like this program NYC, how to organize the youth. Eh? Once they develop up was United Nigeria, United Nigeria. Secondly, used to get something doing. That's why some of the times I used to, to salute some youth. You see somebody who's selling X, like if you go to Lagos, X and Doro side. You say, okay, I get my degree program. See, I'm here. Eh? If you can get, help me get employment. But with this skill acquisition, he can go and make something creative. Nigeria. Thanks to Alahaji Mogaji Dandaguru for taking our time to talk to us. Thank you, sir. Our next story is on Olajire Olawale Sunday. An ESCO member studied engineering at the Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, Oyo State. Graduated in 2012 and was mobilized in 2013 for his national service. 
While in camp, he joined the NYC Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Development side ICT Trainee, where he was introduced to satellite installation, intercom network, and CCTV installation. Today, he runs a successful business in satellite installation and maintenance. He is a SAI trainer and has trained over 5,000 core members. Let's meet Olawale Sunday, the CEO of Amazing Grace Installation, Benin City. Mr. Olaji Olawale Sunday, I graduated from Laodukia Kintola University of Technology, Laotek Obumosho, your state. I had my first degree in electronics and electrical engineering department, 4.09, which is second class upper. I graduated 2012. During the period of my service in Edo, when I was posted to Edo, there was this program, Said Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Program, that was organized by NYC body. Each and every one of core members is expected to participate on any skills of your choice. So I key into ICT during the service year where we were introduced to satellite installations, intercom networking, and CCTV installations. I was able to see far that most of the people around me, they need all these services. And if I can at least sell myself, have my own personal office, I should be able to go a long way. Like six months after, during my service year, I had an office in Benin, in town. Then I took it up, I locked it. Then when I completed my service year, I traveled home, it was on Thursday. I had my certificate. Then on Friday, I traveled back home to only tell my parents that I'm no more a copper. Then I need to enter into live and Ozu. Then I came back to Benin and I started. Then to God be the glory, since then till now, I've been able to have like four branches in Benin. I'm uh, into satellite installations, CCTV networking, and intercom networking. Installation and repair of DSTV, MyTV, MultiTV, Nikomsats, and all form of free-to-air satellite system. I do a repair and I sell the accessories and into sales and repair of any form of satellite that you can ever think of. And I render a consultancy service to a bank and some other corporate bodies. Nigeria. By the special grace of God and with the help of the NYC officials that God has sent to me like a person of my local government inspector when I served Mr. Nosa Ogbogodo. He was a God saint. I don't have any relatives in Benin, in Edo State. I don't have father, I don't have mother. But he is my father, he is my mother, he is everything. So with his mentorship, I've been able to have four branches, which my head quarter, my head office is situated at number 157 Uselu Lagos Road, a former Nepa building, Uselu Market. And the name of the company is O Amazing Grace Communication. My wife is from Oyo State, Ogomosho to be precise. And uh, she's a graduate of University of Ibadan. I brought her to Benin and I legally married to her. Benin has been so lovely to me. It has been a blessing to me simply because all I have achieved today. I got everything from this state, Benin, from this town, Benin City. So Benin has been a blessing, a source of blessing to me, and God has really helped me. Couple of years back, I was uh, invited by the Said Department of Edo NYC, and from then till now, I've trained nothing less than. 5,000 core members in Edo States. NYC Edo States is a blessing to this generation. They might not know. I have most of these graduates that I have trained, 
they have established within this locality. So I have boys in Lagos, I have Edo boys, Edo coppers that I have trained who have established in Enogon, I have in Akure, I have in Ibadan, I have in Oshobo. So this particular scheme of blessed lives even beyond what nyc officials can say the effect of said in edo state can never be overemphasized it has affected many lives positively and many nigerian graduates as at today i mean those that may i have trained are making a meaningful living because of this scheme I have boys that have rounded or they finished the NYC for more than one year. They are still with me. None of us is working with the certificates we have gathered. I have my DTEC in electrical. I had my MSc in uh, University of Benin here, electrical department. I have four professional certificates. But among all these certificates, none of them is putting food on my table today. My name is Nandom Joseph Ayuba. I hail from Plateau States. I'm a core member from uh, Bimpu State to Edu Benin. I, I am one of the beneficiaries of Amazing Grace because it's, it really helped me a lot in terms of skill acquisition. I, I, can, I can remember when I came to this town, I don't have anything to do as a skill acquisition because I studied political science. But I found myself here, I, I really, I really, I'm really happy because at the end of the course of this service, I, I should be able to install CCTV uh, uh, to uh, install DSTV and so many things. When I heard about the opportunity to work in Amazing Grace, I was very happy because now dealing with communication, I did a lot of communication in school and now working towards it, working with coaxia cables and a lot of things, knowing how they transfer information from one point to the other end and getting a practical knowledge of what you did is actually a, a, an added ad advantage for you so those are one of the reasons why i am very happy i am in amazing grace amazing grace is also making that possible because now he was able to do it it, wo it worked for him definitely it can work for me also and the deal is amazing grace the grace is everywhere so now i can just decide to set up myself do some stuff, do well for myself, also empower people, which is one of the goals and one of the things I believe I can live for, empower people also. So I'm using Grace is actually one of the best opportunities for me presently as it makes my dream closer and helps me also plan for the future. I mean, say Grace is like a father to every one of us, he normally take care of us and the moment I try to work with Amisi Grace, I see this thing is beyond what looking for any color job again. My name is Faladi Make and head core member. I served with Amazing Grace. Actually, I'm still here based on the fact that I'm still, I'm actually serving my boss and I was retained in good salary. So next year, I'm going to establish myself fully on this, this business world, this satellite world. So NYC has impacted lives and may God bless NYC Edo State and bless NYC in general. Wow, what a great story. Remember, whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. Learn a skill today, tomorrow might just be too far. Well done to Allow Late Sunday. And that's all we can take on today's episode of NYC Half Hour. For your feedback and a chance to get featured on the program, kindly reach out to us via the social media handles displayed on your screen. And do not forget to catch up on NYC Radio 88.3 FM Abuja and NYC TV on free to air satellite. Also on facebook.com forward slash official NYC. Till I come your way again, please remember the safety of our core members is our collective responsibility. Dear core members, be your brother's keeper. You see something, you say something. And this is from Nine Journeys. Kindly discontinue your journey after 6 p.m. And do not, I repeat, do not embark on unauthorized travels. I am Marianne Denigwe. Be security conscious. Bye for now. You